Yeah, Two Rivers Boatworks. About a year ago, I started a project where I wanted to take a reasonably priced boat and customize it. Basically demonstrating that you could take a reasonably priced boat, put some really nice things on and you'd still come out less than buying a cheap production boat. And while doing this project, I found that I could let my creative juices go with it and I really enjoyed doing that. And then I started looking at, well, what would happen if we took a line of smaller boats and customize them. So in other words, we'd get a brand new boat and customize it the sort of TRB way. So um, that's how TRB Customs was born. So we took our end bay, we gave it a good clean out, we painted the walls, we epoxy coated the floor. I brought in a laser to do the acrylic and make templates and do a number of other things. We moved our sign shop in here, doing all our vinyl signs and graphics and all that sort of thing. I also then needed a space where I could do some more creative um, paint work, airbrushing, that sort of thing, and a space we could do the Cerakoting out of. We slowly created the building that we're in at the moment where we are producing some cool custom stuff. So after we did the Skimmer Skiff, um, the Skimmer Skiff is a great little boat, but we felt we needed something just a little more than the Skimmer Skiff. Um, something can carry a little more power, something that can comfortably take two or more people out fishing. Being that I always find the performance side of the industry fascinating, Bobby, who we get the Skimmer Skiffs from, said, you should really have a look at my friend's boats. I didn't know anything about the Hydra Step when I first heard about it. And then I started studying up on, first of all, who Stephen Step is. I mean, this guy holds 14 world speed titles, eight offshore titles. He built the first boat, offshore boat, to do 100 miles an hour. When he explained to me the design philosophy behind the Hydra Step, I was kind of, wow, this is a cool boat. First of all, it's a big, wide, stable platform to, to fish off of. He's put a lot of thought into the hull. He wanted a, a bay boat, went out, tested a bunch of them, didn't like them, designed his own boat. That is kind of the reason that we went with the Hydra Step. You know, it's lightweight, it's performance based. It's a kind of break away from what other boat manufacturers are doing. I just liked everything about the boat and decided to bring in a line of, of Hydra Steps. So the whole thing with the Hydra Step was that I wanted to foe the whole boat, but at the same time I wanted to do sort of like a retro mod, where we take in modern materials, modern designs, modern motors, uh, navigational equipment, all that sort of thing and putting it in a, making it work with something that's sort of old. And that's where the design process started with this boat. So a big part of doing this faux project is laying down the base coat. Having looked into various colors that are used for the base, for various base coats and all that sort of thing, I decided to use the Allcraft peanut butter as my base coat to the project. So I got Kurt down the road um, in, in the Dreamboat District to lay down the base coat for me. So I'm still waiting for some materials to come in to, to start the faux process on, on the Hydra Step. But to go with a whole retro mod look, I want to take the 1964 100 horsepower Mercury, which was called the Merc 1000. I want to find a way of incorporating it in with the modern motor. I got a, I got a friend of mine who does graphics and stickers and that, and we took some of the old retro decals off of the Merc 1000. And I've changed them slightly, for example, where it had 100 horsepower, I've changed it to 175. And with the design idea of doing a mahogany looking boat, 
this new uh, Mercury motor been done in a retro mod style too will really marry well with the whole design philosophy that I have an idea for. So what, what I've done is I've just I've put the Mercury sticker on and we've taken some of these chrome strips. It's temporary. Um, before I spend the money on the good stuff, I thought let's rather use the cheap stuff and see how it looks. And it also is a great way to showcase TRB Customs because we do things differently here. It's, we're not doing what's been done before. I want to do things that are different. You know, turning your dreams into reality one boat at a time, that is TRB Customs.